Jason, you've had a very busy day. You were here in the morning, you're here now because Chris isn't feeling well. Under the weather, you might say. Absolutely. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Yes, but I mean, it's been an interesting day to work for sure. Had that ice, uh, that ice earlier on this morning, snow for some. Now we just have an absolutely beautiful sunset underway out of our downtown sky camp. 34 is where we sit. A little bit of a breeze making it feel a little bit cooler, but it's feeling a whole lot colder off the northwest. In fact, Sioux City below zero right now for wind chills. Much of the rest of the state sitting at or, or right around freezing. You can see why winds have really picked up off to the northwest. So that breeze continuing for them for a little bit longer. You look across the rest of the state. Snow is gone. We're losing the clouds now too. So that uh, recent system again working its way on out. We look ahead towards tomorrow though. Looking at a chilly day. We're only going to be topping out in the low to mid 20s out there. West Des Moines again snow showers on the way for us. The the highest likelihood of that will be in the uh, early afternoon hours. Well, I can see that taper off by early evening hours. Temperatures, though, never really make it out of the low 20s tomorrow. So we're looking at a chilly day and again, a chance for a little bit more snow. We'll take a look at how much in a second here. Let's track it out for you first. You can see that cloud cover continuing to depart. We catch a little break from that overnight. That's about it. And those north winds come in. You can see staying gusty and there's the snow. It's not going to look like much. Again, just a little burst for us as it works its way through, but it does look like that's going to move through the metro, uh, down through on Osceola, upwards towards Ankeny, and continue its way eastward. And winds staying up there as it does so. And we're going to stay clouded over too. So again, not talking about a ton of snow out of that, uh, but there is some potential we could pick up as much as an inch or so of snow. A trace to an inch, fairly widespread. Could we see higher amounts in there? Sure, but I don't think it'll be much. I think trace to one inch is pretty close, but still haven't seen that first one inch of snow in the metro. And uh, we're getting later and later. Average comes at around December 1st, and we are already nearly a month past that. You can see the latest one inch snowfall was uh, February 2nd, 1989. I don't think we'll get that late, and I'll show you why here. Uh, we've got another system that's going to be rolling in as we head into Saturday. Much more robust system. Models have bounced around a little bit with this, so there is still time for the track on this to change. But you can see our fate ahead of us here. Uh, we have got a chance for a pretty significant snowfall to make its way across at least some portion of the state. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that as we get a little bit closer. But if you got travel plans taking you on the roads at all on Saturday, well, your travel's likely going to be impacted. 14 overnight tonight. We're back up to 23 tomorrow. Again, we've got that possibility for a little bit more snow. Let's hop around town to town for you here. 21 for Boone, Adel at 22. Osceola coming in at 23. Off to the southwest in the low to mid 20s as well. Plan for those snow showers to make their way through uh, in that neck of the woods too. Much cooler to the north Elgona. You're not making it out of the teens tomorrow. Out uh, to of the northeast Grundy Center at 19 and areas to the southeast still tracking some snow for you. Highs topping out in the low to mid 20s and a check of that eight day forecast. We do warm up and we'll catch a little bit of a break. We got snow on Wednesday, snow on Saturday, and you can call it a sunshine sandwich if you want. Middle 30s Thursday and Friday, but you can see after that snow rolls through, it is getting downright cold. We are in the middle teens uh, as we head in towards the weekend here and you look after the new year. We are talking 10 below Sunday night into Monday morning. I know we haven't had a huge taste of winter yet, but it, I think it wanted to let us know it's here. Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> hey, I want to thank you for doing the work of two people today. And I Good think if, uh, if folks want to say thank you themselves, they should go to your KCCI social media pages and give you a little love. Thank All you, right, Steve. thanks, buddy. I'm sure everybody appreciates it.